Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to make like a like a plantain. It's like a bit like a canoe uh, stuffed with ground beef. Um, I already have this video in my channel, but I think it's in Spanish. But this is another version. And if you want to see this video and how I'm going to make um, this delicious uh, a canoe stuffed with ground beef, stay tuned. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is the meat. I have a saucepan in here, which I put it to heat it up, and I have some of the ingredients. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the description box below, just in case it's easier for you to take a screenshot or just review it. I have like a one pound, a little bit more of the ground beef. This is 90% meat and 10% fat, and I like it like that because I didn't add no extra fat to this. I'm gonna use half of the can of tomato sauce, which is like four ounces. This is one envelope of sazon. This is con culantro y achote. That's for color. Uh, this is um, garlic paste, and I made it myself. And in here, I have sofrito. Sofrito is um, onion, pepper, cilantro, culantro, um, mixed in a blender. And I had a video on how to make sofrito in my channel. And I'm also going to use adobo, which is a seasoning, and you can use any seasoning of your preference. When the first thing I'm going to do is to put the meat and cook it. Okay, with a wooden spatula, preferably um, use a wooden spatula. We're going to break into the meat. Now I'm going to add approximately like two tablespoons of sofrito. And if you don't have sofrito, you can cut some pepper, some onions, fresh cilantro. Cut just a little bit there, the size of your preference, and add them in there, okay? You can cut it fresh if you if you like or you prefer. This is one teaspoon of the uh, tomato. I'm um, sorry, tomato. This is one teaspoon of the uh, garlic paste. I'm just gonna let it saute it at medium high. And meanwhile, I'm still cutting it with the wooden spatula. Now I'm gonna add in the um, one envelope of the sazon. If you don't wanna use sazon, you can use from one to tablespoon of the um, paprika. And then seasoning with the, some adobo, or you can use any seasoning. You can also yeah, uh, put some salt. I'm gonna add half of the can or four ounces of the tomato sauce and I'm just going to saute this I'm going to lower the heat and then I'm going to cover this I'm going to cover this pan lower the heat to medium or medium low and you're going to cook this until the meat is completely cooked or it's going to take probably five to seven minutes so you see I just cover my pan and then after I cover my pan, I'm gonna remove it out of the heat and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make the plantain. Um, usually I was, um, I'm gonna show you two different ways where I do my canoe. In Puerto Rico, usually we fry them, but I'm gonna fry one, that way you can see it, and I'm gonna bake the other one, that way you can decide which one you like better. The meat is done. And in here, I'm making some rice because I'm going to, this is rice with beans together. And I had a video how to make this rice. You can even also eat this canoe with the salad. In here, I have the plantain and I also have the, um, the uh, baking pan. And I'm going to make two versions, okay? I already washed the plantain and I'm going to show you how to make the baked um, version. Um, I'm preheating the oven at 400 degrees and this is what I'm going to do. As you see, I'm cutting these two and then um, carefully you're going to remove or not remove the skin, but we're going to put it back in because we need the skin that way the plantain get like soft and then put it back in there. You see, and I already washed that this plantain. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Now 
now we're gonna do the second version. I have a saucepan and I'm gonna put some oil because we're gonna deep fry the plantain. We're gonna do the same thing with this one, but this time we're gonna remove completely the skin. Okay, this plantain, the corner is a little bit like, like a dark, dark spot. So I almost have like a half of the, uh, of the plantain. So we're gonna still using this and I'm gonna bring another one, okay? Okay, I bring another one. Try to find the plantain if you're gonna fry them um, like well done because it's sweeter. And I put my heat in number six, okay? Not too high. Because you want them to cook through. I'm just gonna go ahead and place the plantain carefully. You don't have to do that step. I'm doing it because I didn't put too much oil. Okay, now how you know the plantains is done? Okay, now I'm gonna add some cheese. Uh, that's optional, you don't have to do that. I have Gouda cheese in here. I'm gonna shred it just a little bit because I'm gonna add that to one of the uh, plantain. That's gonna be for my daughter. And But you, you don't have to do that. Or you can add cheese, you know, to all the canoes. Um, any, anything, any cheese. Cheddar cheese, that's Gouda cheese. And I just shred it because I don't have the other one come already shredded. And here is the one I bake. You just remove the, um, let it cool down a little bit. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do um, to fill the it up. Okay, in here I have the two on the left is the baked ones and the two on the right is the fried one, okay? Um, just notice what I'm gonna do with the knife because we're gonna fill the, uh, I'm gonna fill it out with the ground beef. So you see I got a knife and carefully I can, if you can handle her stuff uh, better, just wait until the plantain is cooled down and then grab it like that and you're going to have two spoon and open it and then fill it out with the meat, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna put in one cheese, cheddar cheese, and like I say, it's optional. You're gonna preheat your oven at 400 because we're gonna put it back in the oven, all of them. And then I'm gonna, uh, this is optional too, also. This is optional, okay? I'm gonna grab an egg and then I'm going to um, scramble it. 
And as you see, that's optional. You don't have to do that. But I like the, the flavor with the egg. It tastes like pionolos. It's another thing we eat in Puerto Rico. And then I just gonna put it in one or two. And I'm gonna put it back in the oven because remember, it's this raw egg, so it has to be cooked. And then I'm gonna put it back for 10 to 15 minutes. The cheese, the one with the cheese, you take it out out of 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted, you can take it out of the oven. And if you skip this step to the egg, just put it back in the oven for 10 minutes, all four. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put the egg and then put it back in the oven, like I say. I want to just take the, the one with the cheese earlier and put it back the other one for 15. Okay, and here is the uh, final result. I That's the one with the cheese, as you see, and this is the one with the egg. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in the oven, the one with the egg, because I want to leave it a little bit longer. I want to make sure that egg is completely cooked. And um, the egg don't make too much difference, though, so you don't have to add that in there.